Today I wanted to talk about New Ways Ministry. It is an organization that supports homosexual Catholics and they promote teachings contradictory to the Catholic faith. One of their popular issues is they support homosexual marriage, which is clearly opposed to Catholic teaching. And in 2010, the USCCB, headed by Francis Cardinal George, said just that. He said that New Ways Ministry was not a Catholic organization and they shouldn't call themselves Catholic if they're going to directly oppose church teaching. This organization is, uh, they're big fans of Father James Martin, a popular homosexual activist. What I wanted to point out today was the listing on their website of LGBT friendly parishes. So they have a decent list of LGBT friendly parishes. So if you look through some of these parishes, like the, their bulletins and their websites, they have some ministries that are conflicting with the Catholic faith. In the Archdiocese of New York, they have a parish, St. Francis Xavier Parish. There are a few groups that are very concerning. Uh, the parish groups are Catholic lesbians, gay Catholics, and they have a Zen meditation group. Zen Buddhist, I'm guessing? Um, yeah, that's not Catholic. At St. Joan of Arc Parish in Minneapolis, Minnesota, before Mass, the church always has speakers, and on one Sunday, they invited a homosexual couple to speak before Mass. You know, you can look up their church bulletin, you can read through it, and you'll probably find something that would indicate why they are considered an LGBT-friendly parish. You should check it out and see if there are any in your diocese. If this is the case, possibly email your bishop, let him know, like, hey, this is contradictory to the Catholic faith. These things are happening right under our noses. There's a, there are a lot of churches listed. The bishops, I mean, they need to have control of their dioceses. They need to say this is not acceptable and preach the clear teaching of the Catholic faith. So, uh, I wanted to make everyone aware of this and check it out and just be more aware of what's going on in your diocese.